How has arthritis affected your life? It affected my life was like, it's like a big chain reaction. Like if you can't walk, you can't do all of these other things. Like. like walking. The statistic that I like to recite to people over and over is the number of children that are affected by arthritis outnumbers children with juvenile diabetes, cystic fibrosis, and muscular dystrophy combined. And that's just a, a quite a shocking statistic for people. My name's Emily Fujita. I was diagnosed with systemic rheumatoid arthritis. My name's Ryan, I'm 20 years old. I was diagnosed um, in the first grade, so at about six years old. Um, but kids with GRA probably will attest that, you know, you, you enjoy days, you know, that are good days. And, you know, you learn to work through the ones that, you know, that aren't so great. I think it's affected our family in terms of learning to appreciate the small things, such as um, now that Jessica is playing soccer. After her initial diagnosis, I never thought she would be able to do things like that. Are you okay? This camp, Camp Manolana, I can always remember, you know, year in and year out what we did. As a kid, it's not necessarily what information is shared, it's who you have an association with. And I think camps like this provide a great opportunity for that. I have been unhappy that I came to camp because I have a lot of friends here. I now know a lot of people who know what I've been going through all this time. Hey look, you're not alone in this whole, just the whole fight. There's a chance that things get better. People really see arthritis as a illness that impacts the elderly and when they hear that children of that number and that magnitude have arthritis, that's an important message. So that's what I'm going to do personally is keep telling that statistic, keep reaching out to business leaders in this community and help them to understand why we need to focus on a cure. Sure, just plain and simple.